So, let's move on to some tips regarding algorithm selection. It's always good to think in terms of algorithmic families. Algorithms within the same family usually make similar assumptions. So, if, a, if an algorithm from a family works well on a problem, you should expect other algorithms from the same family to also perform well. It's, an, it's always a good idea to try and compare different algorithms from the same family. An issue is that there is no objective grouping of the machine learning algorithms in different families. Also, some algorithms could easily be part of different families. For example, kernel methods and neural networks are linear methods, but you could also characterize them as nonlinear algorithms because it can be used to regress or classify on nonlinear patterns. In the end, grouping machine learning algorithms in different, different families is more a result of experience and study. This should become more natural to you as a skill the more you learn about machine learning and the more you apply it in your everyday practice. Some other advice regarding algorithm selection is to always keep an eye on the models that seem to be the most successful currently. Nowadays, it seems that random forest and graded boosted trees have been used to win lots and lots of competitions on Kaggle. So it's always a good idea to use these models. Another very popular method is the stacking of different models and ensemble models in general. So I would urge you to read a bit more about this matter. Now, let's move on to some tips regarding the features we use. Feature is basically machine learning and data mining terminology for covariate in statistics or input variables. The most important thing to remember is the garbage in, garbage out principle. If your features are not good, then you're never going to build a good model. However, determining whether your features are good or not is not an easy task. First, you need domain knowledge to do that. Secondly, you need to try and test many different algorithms as we discussed in earlier lectures regarding the ceiling of performance, you can never be sure you found the ceiling until you tried lots and lots of different approaches. Feature engineering can greatly improve the performance of your model. Feature engineering is basically creating new features out of existing ones. There are various heuristics to do that, but it's more of an art than a science. So, for example, it's useful sometimes to think in terms of ratios or to create new categorical variables from already existing ones by grouping many categories together. Or, in some cases, it's useful to change the unit of time and make it more granular, let's say moving from weeks to days, or vice versa. Feature engineering is more about intuition, experience, and domain knowledge, but it should become more natural to you the more experience you get as a data scientist.